let's begin by selecting the criteria for the first task, the individual event overview of malaria cases. First, click on the button Favorites, and then click New. Next, we will select the Line List option under the Table Style tab and leave the output type as Event. Then, select the program, which is the Malaria Case Management Program. Notice that the data elements associated with the selected program will be listed under Available Items. Each data element acts as a dimension and can be selected by double-clicking on it. We will select the data elements age, sex, and treatment outcome for this example. After selecting a data element, it will be visible under Selected Data Items. You will see that under the selected data item, each of these indicators have operators and filter values. The options available will be dependent on the data value type. Some elements will have preset ranges available to select, numeric filters such as greater than, equal to, etc., or text options where you can specify which option or options you would like to view in the table. For now, we will not select any of the filter options. For the period dimension, there are two options, fixed and relative periods and start and end dates. Relative periods can be, for example, last 12 months and have the advantage that data in the report are kept up to date as time goes. Fixed periods can be, for example, January of 2018, where you select the exact period you wish to view in the report. You can also switch to start and end dates by selecting this option from the drop-down menu under the Periods tab. This allows you to specify flexible dates for the time span in the report. For this example, make sure Fixed and Relative Periods option is chosen in the Periods tab. Then choose the period type yearly and move 2019 from the available to the selected box. Also make sure last 12 months is not selected. The organization unit dimension lets you select any organization unit from the hierarchy. You can use the organization unit mode selector to select organization units in the organization unit hierarchy by level or by group. For this example, we will use the hierarchy and select Training Land as the organization unit. Now that we have selected the criteria for our table, we can click Update. After clicking Update, we can see the line list of events with the specified criteria. Let's look at the Age column. It is evident that we are seeing the age range displayed rather than the actual age of the individual. This is done by applying a legend to the data element. Later on, we will remove this. Let's stop here so you can complete this section's event report activity and put your knowledge to practice. Make sure to keep the activity open as we will be continuing with this task in the next video segment. 